Hi, I'm Daniel and welcome to channel 65. Now, if you're a Mac OS user just like me, you'll know that Mac OS it's really easy, it's pretty simple to use and it's stable. Now, however, you will also agree with me that it's actually quite difficult to launch programs, especially the programs that you don't put on the dock. You know, you have a whole lot of programs that you use all the time, you have Firefox, you have iTunes that's on the dock, but what about the programs that are not on the dock? What do you usually do? Now you usually go to the desktop, go to the Macintosh HD, double click it, open it, go to applications. And let's say I want to open the mail program for some reason. I want to use the Apple Mail. There you go, Apple Mail. Now that's a lot of steps and it's pretty ugly and it's not quick, you know. There is a program, however, today that I'm going to show you called Quicksilver and Quicksilver will make launching programs really really quick I've been using this for quite some time ever since I got my brand new iMac and trust me it's very useful right so let me just show you let's say for example I wanna make close a mail program first I wanna launch the mail program that I opened just now but I wanna do it this time using Quicksilver so what do I do I press a hotkey which I programmed to Quicksilver in this case I programmed the control and space key the default key is one of the function keys, I can't remember, but you can do is your, uh, you can change the, the default key. For my case, it's control space, and there you go. Quicksilver, and, uh, right now I'm going to type M -A, there you go, mail, enter, and there you go. It's that easy, it's that quick. So that's Quicksilver, it's really simple to use, it's a really awesome program. It's a free program, that's the most important thing, and it's available on the Quicksilver's website at uh, quicksilver.blacktree.com. So let me just show you again some samples, right? <clears throat> Let's open iSquint. iSquint is a application to convert videos for the iPod. There you go. It's as easy as that. Let's open more. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what should I? iPhoto. There you go. It's as simple as that. And here's a cool thing about um, here's a cool thing about uh, Quicksilver. Not only is it a program launcher, you can actually get it to you know respond to programs. Uh, let me let me just show you, right? Let's say, for example, right now I have um, iTunes running, and uh, I want to play 65 bits. It's on my playlist right now. So let's go P L A play. Whoa, echo. See that it's playing 60. So I want to pause it. There you go. And then let's see if I want to mute. Test. That was the. I, I think I just mute. I think I just mute iTunes. I have to s switch off the sound because you know this echo coming out. Um, anyway, so there you see it. Uh, it's really easy to use. It's really cool. You can even open favorites on on uh, Firefox. In fact, let me just show you. Right. Let me just give you a zoom in right now, just to let you see one more time. Okay. Let me zoom in, and I'm gonna go T E C H six five. There you go. A lovely homepage. Tech 65. It's really cool. It's really easy. So here's some of the things that you can actually do with the Quicksilver, right? Um, I'm gonna open Quicksilver and I'm gonna go to Preferences. Just, so as you can see, right, this is where you actually, you know, uh, program the hotkey, right? And there's this place here called, you know, Actions. So over here you can see all the actions that it's able to do, and you know, all the applications, right? And here, let me go to. Uh, uh, Application, computers. No, sorry. Okay. Triggers, right? No. Ah, oh, there you go. Catalog. That's right. So in catalog, um, this is the place where all the uh, the applications, uh, the th the commands that you can actually use. So it, each time you install an application, it will detect it and it'll say, "All right, you have 116 applications, and all these 116 applications can actually respond to the Quicksilver shortcuts." Right and uh, you know of course there'll also be iTunes commands, so right control scripts and you have iTunes playlists, you have Firefox bookmarks you can even open through your history, right and you know this usual Finder stuff that you can actually respond to. You can even download, right? You can download your own modules that you can find online, scripts as well, system. So it's really useful program. It's a command line based program, so you can basically do anything, right? And um, it's it's very useful. Trust me, it's really makes launching programs a breeze, really a breeze, it's really easy. Alright, so once again it's quicksilver.blacktree.com. It's right here, this is their homepage. Let me just show you their homepage. My lovely brand new 20 inch iMac. There you go. 
So this is a qu Quicksilver homepage. It's free, right? Quicksilver.blacktree.com. It's available for free. I'm not sure if it's open source, but I know it's free. All right, and yeah, you will really love it. Seriously, okay. So that's all. That's all from me for today in Tech 65. I hope you guys, uh, you know, will enjoy the program, and I hope this uh, the program will be of great use to you. Right, and so I'll see you guys next week. I'm Daniel, and this is Channel 65. Goodbye.